All right, everybody, and now here comes part three of my anime Blu-ray collection. And in this part, I'll show you my box anime Blu-rays. But before I begin, let me show you a few things. One note, Jessica Calvello is the voice of Celsius in season one. In season two, it's, um, Kelly Colleen Black. You know, she's known for doing Ice Wallenstein and Don Machi. And Jessica Calvello, Calvello, I think she was the voice actor of Black Rabbit in From Children Coming from Another World. I think so. Better do my research on that, just to be sure. And there you go. Got that out of the way, and now let us begin. The Ancient Magus Bride. As for everything else, I don't feel like showing it to, I don't feel like showing them to you. Here's Blue Exorcist, released by Aniplex of America. Got this from Right Stuff, and and oh man, this was very expensive for me to get my hands on. And well, what do you know? I now have it. Renokumura, it's rather Yukio. No, no, it is not Yukio. It's Yukio. It's, it's a K, not a G.
Third on Toonami. Back on um, February 22nd, 2014 to August 9th of 2014 on Adult Swim. And it was a replacement of Sword Art Online, which I'll get to later on in this video. And there you go. That is Blue Exorcist for you. Next up we have Boo Boo Street Dog Season 1. Main character is Atsuki Nakajima. There's, um, Dazai. Osamu Dazai. That's his name. And there we go. That is season one of Boomer Street Dogs for you. Oh, and I forgot. Bookmarks. Nikita? No, no, no. There's um, Kyoka. There's Atsushi Nakajima. Let's see. Hmm. No screws. Next up is the collection works of Hayao Miyazaki. And this <laughs> expensive ass 12 disc Blu ray set. Containing 11 movies and one extra, which is, um, some special features, I guess? Something, anyway. A, you know, a seen as a bonus. Featuring Spirit Away. No. What it has is um, Nausicaa, Castle in the Sky, My Neighbor Totoro, Spirit Away, Howl's Moving Cow Castle, The Wind Rises, Princess Mononoke, and Porco Rosso. Alright, let's just skim through these. Oh! Lupin the Third. Forgot about that one. The Castle of. Kagligristo, um, what is it? The Castle of Kagligristo. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. And the bonus feature from Old Man Miyazaki. And no, didn't feel like showing you the discs. 
And by the way, this is an Amazon exclusive, just so you know. I think someone else online has this Blu-ray set. Jay's Blu-rays. That's what I think. Originally came out on, um, I think it was November 17th of 2015 when this Blu-ray set came out. Um, Touched with Home Entertainment, Eastern Star, TMS, uh, um, Content Japan. You know, you get it. Next up is Digimon the Movies, a Blu-ray set to films released from 1999 to 2006. By the way, these are all short movies. What was later called up into one compilation movie in 2000. And that's... That is Digimon Adventure and Digimon Adventure Zero Two cobbled to... clobbered together. To form Digimon the movie. This is a 2015 Blu ray set released by Toy Video. Features a Blu ray 3D. And yes, my second Blu ray 3D. Digimon Adventure. Digimon Adventure Zero Two. And no, it's not that character from Darling of the Franks or Kirby. Just so you know. Just Digimon Adventure Zero Two. So we got green, blue, and here we have pink. With Digimon Tamers, which was uh, Digimon Season 3 in the US, uh, and on Fox Kids from Saban. Orange, uh, here's um, Digimon Frontier, aka Season 4 of Digimon. And last disc bonus <laughs> features a 3D Blu ray and CD. Unfortunately, I do not have a 3D Blu ray player, unfortunately, so I can't, can't, um. So I can't view it. I also do have another one, and that is Monsters University on Blu-ray <laughs> slash 3D Blu-ray. And there you go. That is. Uh, Digimon the Movies Blu-ray Blu-ray set from 2015 from Toei. Next up, we have Zero Two and Darling in the Franks and her partner, um, Hero. It's not Hero from from Big Hero Six, that's for sure. Number zero zero two and zero one six. Part one limited edition. Art cards and picture book. 
illustrations. <laughs> wow. And of course, uh, the Blu-ray itself. I kiss as sweet as death. You know, I would like to have this on Toonami. In my opinion, Toonami should really have Don Machi. Wait, what, did I say Don Machi? No, I meant Darling of the Franks, damn it. And yes, I am happy to own this limited edition Blu-ray set from Funimation. And yes, I would like to have Darling of the Franks on CTV Sci-Fi Channel, which was originally Space. Perfect network to have it on. Sure, some of you will pick um, YTV, Teletoon, or Family Channel. But I choose Space. Because of its... Uh, um, because it's fitting. And would be the perfect network to air it on. That's what I think. Your opinion may vary. Oh, I forgot one thing. That's <laughs> a poster. And yes, it does c come with a Canadian home video rating sticker, just like um, the ancient Mega Sprite. And uh, there should be another one. Oh, yeah. An there'll be another one coming up later on. Unfortunately, Boogie Stray Dogs did not come with a Canadian Home Video Rating sticker. Oh well. At least my Blu-ray copy of Season 2 does. Next up. Die Hack vs. This limited edition set I bought on Amazon.co.jp. Come on. Here we go. Kite. Oh, it's a booklet. Just getting through it. Oh, yes. Another book, too. <laughs> it's in the shape of a Garfield book. And uh, we have the actual game for it. The game in Blu ray. Oh, before that, another book. Bandai logo on the front and on the spine. And on the back it has Bandai Namco games on it. Features a DVD and Blu-ray. Oh, and Blu-ray 3D. And by the way, this is my third 3D Blu-ray I have. Oh, and what's this? 3D. 3D compatibility. Developed by CyberConnect2. You know, known for doing Ultimate Ninja Storm. And that's Naruto, by the way. Oh, crap. Zero A, Zero B, Zero C, Zero D, Zero Z. Zero Z. The highest it can go up to is Z. Here's your manual. DVD disc. Extension. And of course, uh, there's your Blu ray disc. It's uh, part Blu ray, part Blu ray 3D, and uh, a PlayStation 3 game. And that's Dot Hack Versus. Oh, I'm forgetting one thing. This, uh, the illustration cards, which 
not gonna sh I'm not gonna bother because it's a waste of time. And what I have here is a cool a cool box set. And by the way, that is my second game in OVA hybrid disc on Blu-ray and PlayStation 3. The other one I have is Erica 7 AO, which features a game on it. Just like that one. Astral Ocean. It's the OVA that features uh features a game. Next up we have uh, Magical Girl Yoko Nanaha the movie second. Ace. There's um Nanaha Takamachi with um orange hair and uh, purple eyes. And there's Fate Testo Fate, Fate Testarossa with blonde hair and red eyes. <laughs> Oh yes, a booklet too. Basically, your Blu-ray guide and a secondary one. Lyrical Party Four. And now, for the discs. <laughs> Blu-ray disc, 2013 Blu-ray. Here is, um, disc one. White Rabbit. There's disc two. And, oh wait. <laughs> My bad. Disc one has the feature film. Disc two has the special features and the third disc is Lyrical Party 4. And there you go. That is Lyrical... That is, um... Magical Girl Lyrical Nanha the movie second, A's. Originally released in 2012. And it is a 2013 Blu-ray release. Released by King Records. You know, also known for releasing Super Gear on Blu-ray. By the way, I do plan on buying Sankey's Astro Super Gear when it comes out on Blu-ray from Discotech. I actually do plan on buying that. Next, uh, we have Face Day Night, uh, the movie. Um, Heaven's Feel, movie number one. Sage Flower. There's Shiro um, Sakura Mato. Uh, I don't know what his name is or her name. And that is Rin Tosaka. Released by Anaplex of America. So this is a 2018 Blu ray. Animation material booklet. Art book. There's, um, Sakura. No, wait, too. Your Saber, uh, what's her name? Arturia Pendragon. Oh, there we go. From Tank Moon. Just one. No wait, it only has one disc. 
that's the Blu-ray, and the other disc is the CD, original soundtrack. And there we go. That is uh, the first movie of Fate State Night Heaven's Spiel. And that was Presaged Flower. 2018 Blu-ray release. Uh, originally released in 2017. I think that was November 18, 2017. When it came out in theaters in Japan. November 20th, 2018 for... For a Blu-ray... Release in North America. Speaking of Fate Stay Night, uh, here we have the second movie. There's Sakura, and that is um, Shiro. This is uh, Lost Lost Butterfly, Fate Stay Night. The movie Heaven's Field 2. Animation material. And our vote could yet again. We're in Sasaka, and that girl with silver hair. I'm not sure what her name is. I forgot. Oh no, that's interesting. Comes with an ad for for um a double booster pack. I think that's supposed to be a card game of some sort. Oh yeah, cards in there. Oh, what the heck is this? My Sakura Sakurajima. Yeah, that's her. A booster pack. That's what it is. Uh, disc for the movie. And... Uh, CD soundtrack. The curtain rises on the next Holy Grail War. Oh, and by the way, this movie came out on my birthday, January 12th. In Japan... And as for this Blu-ray release, uh, it was released on um, November 19th, 2019. And yes, uh, there's the third movie that came out, which was on um, March 14th of 2020. Now, correct me if I'm wrong if it didn't come out in Japan. It could be because of the coronavirus or COVID-19. Fucking... COVID-19. And that's why I haven't seen... So I've seen a Blu-ray copy for... Um, or pre-orders for... Fate Day Night Heaven's Field... Movie number three. I haven't seen that being... I haven't seen that showing up on right stuff yet. But enough said. Now next is one of my favorite animes from Sentai Filmworks, and that is, is it Ronda trying to pick up girls in a dungeon, aka Don Machi, there is Belle and Hestia, man I'm super happy to have this Blu-ray set, hell even when I got it I was so happy to have it too. There's Eyes Wallenstein. Um, no, I, I don't know who that elf girl is supposed to be. There's, um, a bit of Hestia's r ribbon. This is limited edition booklet. 
If there's anyone else that I know who has this, it's probably um, Giga Frosty. Hermes. No, no, not the one from Futurama. The one from Don Machi reminds me of. Kind of looks like a cowboy. And definitely nothing like Woody from Toy Story. And uh, here you have this Grim War book, which contains absolutely nothing on it. Not even some magic spells. Oh well. Magic's not even real anyway. This is the Blu-ray. Castillo on it. Oh, look at that. A holographic card. Nice. Disc 1 with Hestia and Bell. Disc 2 has Ice Wallenstein and Bell Grinnell. And yes, he's one of my favorite heroes. Oh yes, uh, a nice holographic card, which was also seen on the VHS tape releases of Independence Day and Jurassic Park 2 The Lost World. That was the Blu-ray side, and here's the DVD side. Wolf Crozo, and that's um, Freya. Apparently, she's probably the main antagonist of Don Machi. I'm not sure who that elf girl is supposed to be. I can't remember her name. There's Ice Wallenstein, um. I forget those names. Ugh. Yep, there's your extras. Uh, and now it's time to put everything back to uh, everything back in its box. Originally released on March 28th of 2017, but Amazon listed it as uh, April 25th, 2017. Oh well, I pre-ordered this Blu-ray set. Uh, and I just had to wait till May 4th of 2017 to get my Blu-ray Blu -ray limited edition copy. And I'm happy to have it. Very happy, in fact. Next up, the Mamoru Hosoda Movie Collection. Now, I used to have The Boy and the Beast on Blu-ray, and that was the Canadian copy from uh, Mongrel Media. But now I own the American release, which is from Funimation. Well, in that case, maybe I should say American slash Canadian release. Featuring the Girl Who Lipped Her Time from 2006, Summer Wars from 2009, Wolf Children from 2012, I think? Was that 2013? And The Boy and the Beast from um, 2016. Summer Wars? And yes, Tsunami had Summer Wars there. With Wolf Children, The Girl Up Your Time, and The Boy and the Beast. Now, yes. I would love to have this aired on ABC and CTV. Some roars could have been aired on Global. I would like to see Old Children on Global and The Boy of the Beast aired on CTV. Boy of the Beast would be aired on ABC in the US. 
And that was for Summer Wars, could have been on EBC. And Wolf Children. Also could have been aired on, on EBC. Well, that's what I imagine anyway. And there you go. That's the Mamoru Hosoda Movie Collection. Blu-ray from 2018. From Galmont to... And Nippon Television. I also do remember seeing a seeing a logo in one of these movies saying VAP. And that's the Boy and the Beast. Now next up, we have um, Myriad Colors Phantom World. Here's um, Haruhiko Ichijo. Um, my, uh, what's her name again? It's not Sakurai. <laughs> Oh, Sakurajima, that's for sure. Oh, my Kurokami. Is that her name? Yeah, it must be. I know that there's a fairy named Ruru, and man, she's an annoying fairy. And there's also a Reina and Koito. Reina's the one with brown hair and Koito is the one with red hair. This is the Blu-ray side. And here's your DVD side. Which, for some reason, is in a Blu-ray case. Oh, well. There's Ruru as a human. And there's Quito. There's, a what's her name again? Reina. Oh, that's her name. Here we go. And yes, even features art cards. Oh, cool. They're holographic cards, too. From this 2017 Blu-ray release of Mirror Colors Phantom World Complete Series. And yes, uh, Oh yeah, it has a 14A reading sticker on the back. <laughs> Just like uh, the ancient Mega Sprite and Darwin and the Franks. <laughs> so technically, this is a Canadian copy. So yes, as I mentioned before, those holographic uh, cards were also seen on Jurassic Park 2 The Lost World and Independence Day on VHS. <laughs> One released by 20th Century Fox and Entertainment, and that was Independence Day. The other one from Universal, which was Jurassic Park The Lost World, or in that case, Lost World Jurassic Park. Now for that, and now for only the Steelbook Blu-ray, and that's uh, uh, three Pokemon, no, three phenomenal Pokemon adventures featuring Pokemon the first movie, Pokemon the movie 2000, and Pokemon 3 the movie, 1998, 1999, 2000, originally released by Warner Home Video, or Warner Brothers Pictures, I should say. And it comes with an ad. 
for the manga Pokemon Adventures. Oh. Pokemon Movie, Pokemon Movie 2000, and Pokemon 3 the Movie. Next up, we have a huge box, and that is ReZero, Stirring Life in Another World, Season 1, Part 1, with Amelia, Rem, and of course, the main character himself, <laughs> um, Suo Shibaru Natsuki, there's, um, Rem's sister, Ram. And Beatrice and um whatever that girl's name is. Not sure. Oh. Oh. Here we have the Blu-ray. And yes, uh, season one part two took forever to come out on Blu-ray. And it came out about eight months later. This was released on June 19th of 2018. And part two came out on February 5th, 2019. There's your booklets. No, wait. Booklets? No, I, I meant to say bookmarks. <laughs> Inside, there is a pillowcase. <laughs> oh, there we go. Unfortunately, it did not come with a Canadian home video reading sticker. Oh well. Of course, our book. <laughs> An artwork for ReZero. Being transported into a fantasy world. That's Subaru Natsuki. And there we go. That is uh, Season 1, Part 1, Limited Edition of ReZero. Original release in 2018. Oh, yes. It even features a cool pillowcase. Nice. Now, if you'll excuse me for a second, I need... Ugh, I need to check something. Sorry about earlier. The Ancient Mega Sprite also came with uh, these um, art cards. And some kind of uh, wall, sc wall scroll cloth. Wall cloth. Uh, yeah. You know what else had that? Uh, Fate Extella. Both games. <laughs> War, OVA slash Chronicles of the Heroic Knight, the OVA from 1990, and the TV series released in 1998. Oh. Oh. The original, the original video animation.
and the TV series itself, Chronicles of the Heroic Knight. Blu-ray released in 2017. All DVDs with 27 episodes. Of Chronicles of the Heroic Knight. Oh, and it features these. It's a repeat. And yes, uh, they are exactly the same. Anyway, enough said. OVA first uh, TV series later. And that is the record of Lodos War for you. A sword and sorcery fantasy OVA and TV series. Next up, there's Kirito, or in that case, uh, Kirigai Kazuto from Sword Online, and it's Sword Online the movie, Ordinal Scale, which was released in 2017. February 18th, 2017, and that's where this Blu ray came out on. December 19th, 2017. Oh, yes. Asuna Yuki. Original creator, Ricky Kawahara. Amplex card will be your Valentine. The movie on Blu ray and the original soundtrack, or in that case, character songs, bonus disc. actors I know. Um, Bryce Pappenberg was the voice actor of Kirito and Jeremy Lay is the voice actor of Asuna Yuki. Enough about Ordinal Scale. And now Season 1 or the first series uh, of Star Online Blu-ray Disc Box. Uh, Twenty seventeen Blu ray release just like Blue Exorcist uh, featuring Incrad and Fairy Dance, which includes the introduction of Leafa. It takes place in the year 2202. No, wait, uh, wait, no, 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 20, 2022. My mistake. Originally aired on Tsunami back on, um, July 27th of 2013, replacing Thundercats. And that's the 2011 reboot. Oh, yes. Now, that's a beautiful illustration. Taken from the anime, there's Kirito and Asuna. 
Also the Yuki. Featuring 10 illustrations. And that's official art, just so you know. Alright now. Here we have huh? Incred. Now, unfortunately, most of these Aniplex Blu-rays do not have any previews at all. Pretty much bare bones. There's nothing but the warning screen, then the Aniplex logo, and then it goes on to the menu. It's pretty much like that for almost every Aniplex Blu-ray I've seen so far. Who knows, maybe there's an Aniplex Blu-ray that actually does have a few previews. Just let me know if you find one. There's Vera. There's the fairy dance arc. There's Leafa, and that's Asuna being tied up. Yui and Kirito. And yes, uh, and now we have the Sword Online Extra Edition featuring all the girls from Sao wear wearing swimsuits. Released in 2013. This is uh, Sword Online Extra Edition. And there you go. That is Sword Online Season 1 Blu ray disc box for you. And yes, that that anime art style looks absolutely gorgeous, <laughs> just like Gundam Seed. I mean, I just love it. In fact, with most anime I've seen, I just love the art style. Your opinion may vary. Here you have uh, Sword of Toya. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls on girls in a dungeon on the side? So this is uh, Eins Wallenstein, Eins Wallenstein story, which is a spin-off of Bell's story. Twenty eighteen Blu-ray from Sentai Filmworks. There is a limited edition booklet of Sword Oratoria. Mm. Lithia. Here you have the Blu-ray. Features these illustration cards, but I don't feel like showing them to you. Two discs for the Blu-ray. Two Blu-ray discs. And here's your um, DVD side. Featuring three discs. Now, earlier, did I say Oratoria? 
I said oratorio. I meant sword oratoria. And lastly, here's the soundtrack, which for some weird reason comes in a DVD case. And by the way, comes on two discs. Uh, and there you have it. That is Sword Oratoria, aka the Don Machi spinoff with Ice Wallenstein. And it's the limited edition, which the anime itself came out in 2017. There's also a manga of it too. Uh, just like the original series of Don Machi, which came out in 2016, which got a season 2 in 2019, and now it has a season 3, which came out this year. Next up, we have Twin Star Exorcists. From Crunchyroll and Funimation. Comes in this big ass box. There's your summoning star. This is just your regular packaging for Twin Star Exorcists on Blu ray. Fourteen A rating sticker. Twenty eighteen Blu ray, like I said. All right, let's check out that box. And it's absolutely empty. Hmm. You're supposed to see the people inside. And there you go. That is Twin Star Exorcist for you. Part 1. And there's also um, part two, part three, and part four. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, four parts to it. Which I might consider buying the rest of the series one day. And uh, moving on to the final boxed limited edition anime Blu-ray that we have. Is your name. From 2016, this is a 2017 Blu-ray, released by Funimation, Toho. From critically acclaimed director, Makoto Shinkai. Here we have a PG rating sticker. Here we have a hard book. The art of your name. Blu-ray feature film and extras.
DVD feature film, CD1, and CD2. Closed by Universal. And there you have it. That is Your Name Limited Edition. Released on November November 7th of 2017. <laughs> Comes in a unique packaging. See? And there you go. There you have it. That was part three of my anime Blu-ray collection, including these. And well, see y'all later and see you in my video game collection. Ta-ta for now.